give a demonstration of our grid charts, which are part of our common grid. To create a grid chart, select a data range within the grid, and then you right mouse click, and you see an option called chart range, and then you'll see all the different chart types that are available, and for each one, there are different options for each of those different chart types. So we're going to create a column stack chart, and in a, a pop-up, it creates a chart. And if you go back to the range on the grid, you can uh, drag it to add more rows or add more columns as you wish. Let's take a look at some of the properties of the chart that you can update. If you look at the top option here, you can see a, a list of all the different uh, uh, chart types. If you just select it, you'll get the different options uh, and it'll show within the grid. You also have different color palettes that you can choose on the bottom. Uh, that you can pick as well. Under the data tab, you have a category uh, section. This will uh, be default to the first string attribute that you select within the grid. In the series are all the numeric columns that you have within the grid that you can, and in here you can toggle on and off to show within the, uh, in the chart. Under the format, there are more options to configure the chart. So under the chart tab, you can add a title, Save my ideas. Uh, you can adjust the font and other padding within uh, the chart. In the legend, you can uh, go ahead and uh, toggle it on or off. You can adjust the position of the, the legend as you like. There's more uh, areas in terms of adjusting the padding and some other labels as well. In the axis area, if you have a lot of data within the chart, you can uh, adjust some of the padding or some of the, out, uh, the color of it. You can also adjust the angle of it by adjusting, hitting the circle area and adjusting the angle to better uh, view the labels, either your X or Y axis. And uh, the last item in terms of series, you have the ability to toggle off or on tooltips that you can actually see within the chart. Also too, there's actual labels uh, if they're visible or not, but you can turn them on or off um, if they're applicable in your chart. Uh, other areas is there, you can toggle on and off the selector area of the range uh, of data that you want to see within your chart. Then uh, once you get the chart to the uh, state, uh, you can go ahead uh, and export it out to a PNG that you can send to uh, other members on your team and uh, can collaborate uh, within your organization. That concludes uh, my demonstration of our grid charts.